Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti and welcome back to Factorio, where last time uh, we have laid out uh, this big square. It's four times the size of a normal square, because in here we will have our rocket silo uh, to produce space science. And because we have to produce everything on site from raw materials, we will need the space. And last time we figured out that we can actually do this and by using uh, beacons, speed and productivity modules, we don't even need a huge setup of uh, smelting arrays. Uh, so basically uh, we can produce around um, one item every second. That means every 10 seconds we can produce a rocket unit, uh, which means every thousand seconds we can launch a rocket and I, I think for now that that has to be sufficient if it is not we will just plop down a second one but looking at the input materials we have uh, uh, the copper and the iron we need most of and then we need the coal, the coal we only need for plastic along with uh, the petroleum gas and petroleum gas we also need for uh, uh, solid fuel which we will then uh, need together with the light oil for the rocket fuel and a bit of sulfuric acid for the, uh, the blue processing units. So Usually when we have uh, plastics, uh, we have this set up coal and petroleum next to each other. Um, down here, uh, as we have double the uh, space here, not sure if we want to have one thing here and the other there, but I think let's start with the copper and iron also with the smelting array because then we know how much space we have left and how to deal with that and i'm thinking we can do something like this and then get back here on the main line And we need some signals here and there. Also have one here in the back. And this one wants to be copper unloading. That's probably here at the top, copper or delivery. Right. And then Let's see. We want a setup like this for the unloading. Uh, we want to have a limit of one train here. We need a bit of uh, power there. And for the copper smelting, we need 33 iron ore per second. So that's more than one red belt. So what we will do here, um, we will have two red belts coming out here and probably we need 
bit of blue belt going in so we can actually output this this fast enough and then let's see we need 24 furnaces uh, for the smelting and with two um, belts that are coming out I'm thinking we have two sets of 12 furnaces um, and what we also need here is this and then let's copy this one here so we have this logic there all right then let's find ourselves a smelting array and take this one and we need 12 um, let's put this down and then we need to have a bit of space and have the same thing over here and i add this with one additional space because we also need to supply our beacons with power so here we have that one and we need to upgrade all these belts because minimum speed has to be a red belt and don't have the beacons that we need on me so let's do this and connect this here and <coughs> the way we said um, this should work in order for uh, uh, only needing 24 means every furnace needs three beacons for the effect and for these ones there we have the three but for this one here at the border uh, same here that's not the case so actually we need to move everything down by let's move it down by two that in and then let's have this here and there we need a bit more So let me grab some more beacons and then we can see how we can finish this setup for We copper. have copper here on this side and then the iron here on the other side and where is iron there often is also steel. So let's copy that we need eight of those uh, we'll turn 
that around and then copy this here. We need, of course, have not enough um, uh, beacons. And here we need splitter. Actually, here we can do with this yellow belt because if we look for steel, we need a bit less than nine plates per second. So, uh, um, yellow is good enough. But here we need a bit more uh, of this. And then basically here on top. We will need this. And of course, there we need the steel output. And there we have that. So that's the main two inputs sorted and I'm thinking we do something similar down here for coal and uh, the for coal and um, the petroleum. So, signal there, signal there, signal there. There we have that. And then here, that's where we go in. That's where we go out. And then basically we will have copper and petroleum here on either side of the roundabout instead of next to each other uh, but we can copy uh, this part that will be this one and we can copy the other part as well. This one. We need the belts. Probably need a bit of engine power there. Here we need this, and then how do we bring this together for plastics? We need three, okay, three chemical plants, and Two, three, and this will be like this. And let's do it that way. That should work out nicely. And then we have. This going that way, it's not evenly distributed. There. And then we just need two more inputs. Uh, we can have those here.
Then this wants to go back to there. And that will be sulfuric acid. Like so. Nope. We want to copy the station. Where did I copy it from? Oh, here. Station with the unloading. That's the thing we want to see. there and then here on the other side we can have the unloading let's copy this but let's make this uh, light well maybe not with caps let's try this again light oil delivery there's a nice icon there signal all right that's all the stations and the next thing we need to figure out how to add all the the missing pieces um, meaning all the factories that that we need uh, to produce the final product from the raw materials all right all this would work decidedly better if we had a bit of loading of coal in here then we get plastics and i imagine that the rocket silo will be somewhere here in the middle and on the way to the rocket silo, we need quite a few steps to go from the input materials uh, to the final product. So what I'm thinking is we will have kind of uh, a spiral setup uh, going on. Um, with the um, basically with the uh, raw materials uh, that one will want to be here so we can have the the second row here and then there uh, for the, um, the liquids, we don't need to have them uh, available in, in such a manner uh, because we can bridge and pipe them wherever we need them. And it's only at one place we need the liquid oil, only at one place where we will need the sulfuric acid and only one additional uh, space where we need the uh, the uh, petroleum so let me create kind of a bus here uh, with with all the materials on it and as we are producing more and more of uh, of these things the bus will widen 
and we don't have a boss in this playthrough because we decided we will every we will produce everything on site um, uh, that we need uh, so we only transport ores liquids and science packs but of course within a factory we can actually have uh, such a boss um, here we probably want to have this set up to that and I will need quite a bit of uh, red um, red underground for the for the uh, for the copper uh, belt uh, also for the iron belt for steel we can go with yellow and also for the um, for the um, for the uh, plastics but here each of the chemical plants wants to have three uh, modules speed modules in there so we actually can produce the right output amount and let's also have a look at uh, what we need uh, we need to produce solid fuel from um, from petroleum so maybe we will also do this down here and uh, we need to remember that because uh, if we snake uh, the plastics here next to the copper then probably solid fuel will be next to uh, to our plastics uh, so we leave a gap uh, between that and the iron so let me uh, finish up this setup and then we can see how our spiraling um, uh, belt looks like to begin with. The spiral is complete although we have run out of uh, petroleum gas uh, but we have copper that's for plastic then we have here the uh, space for the solid fuel uh, iron steel and this goes all the way around here around and round and round and what i realized that probably we will not need uh, to have all belts going all the way to the end because, for example, if we look at uh, plastics, we need that for red circuits and for the low density structures. So once we have those two things covered, we don't need to extend that. And of course, the, the solid fuel only needs to go where we uh, combine it with light oil. Uh, to rocket fuel and that's probably uh, in this area where we have the uh, station for rocket fuel or for, for uh, light oil unloading but at least at the moment it looks like um, we do not have enough trains uh, for petroleum gas we have 14 stations we have 10 trains and they are all sitting at the station for delivery so i already added one train so let's add another one send it on its way and that one should also make it after loading to a delivery station and if we are lucky it will be this delivery station and we might have no it's not this one but over time we will sort this out i have a feeling that with uh, the rocket fuel production we need to have 
uh, anyway another refinery uh, which would imply more trains and so on but we can figure out the right amount of trains and refineries once we have built up everything else but we have the basic setup uh, done here so next time we can uh, focus on the next steps towards our rocket until then goodbye